Yeah. I'm posted, loaded, floating, don't know where I'm going. Uh-huh. Call the weed man up, don't know how much, but I'm scoring. Uh-huh. And if it ain't get- Hey, man, say, man, y'all know what it is. Your boy D Jones, Trippity Jones, Mr. You See It, bitch. Back again with another one, man. Y'all already know it's a good, uh, we out here on a good old Friday, man. It ain't too hot, really. It's just 94 right now. Uh, normally it'd be like 100 and 102, 99 or some bullshit like that. But right now it's just 94, so it's feeling kind of good outside. I know some people watch it like 94. Like, yeah, 94 kind of cool out here in the summer. Like, dead ass. If you ain't never been uh, in the Texas, in Texas in, uh, in the summer, man, it's like, you, you don't know. I would say you don't know what you're missing, but shit, you, you for sure wanna miss that shit. God damn, it ain't nothing to uh that bitch ass nigga get your ass off the whole ass nigga. God damn. Big ass trucks, dry ass just be taking up both lanes. Like, come on now, dog. But yeah, man, Texas in the goddamn summer, boy, that shit hot than a bitch. Or like shit. Goddamn Mojave Desert hot type shit. Like, nigga. Like, I ain't never been to hell. I ain't trying to go there, but I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure Texas is a damn gateway to that motherfucker. You feel me? <laughs> Shit, because it's hot in the whole area, boy. But yeah, like I said, it's just 94 right now. And, uh, you know, we, we just out here. Uh, gotta go take my little bro out here to go pick up this box truck. Nigga on some big business. You feel me? He got a little contract with, uh, he a subcontractor with Cons, and uh, you know he finna go uh, pick up this box truck, and uh, you know get get the game rolling. He didn't holler at me about it, you know, see if I wanted to get on, you know, box trucks, everything, everything in that nature, it's big money. You feel me? So uh, of course I ain't gonna be no dummy. Yeah, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna uh, go after some money. Especially if it's easy like that. All we gotta do is go get the box truck. You already got the contracts. All we gotta do is pick up shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not finna go buy a box truck, but I will uh, help them niggas uh, load and unload these motherfuckers. So yeah, that, that probably would. Uh, I'm gonna help them do. Make a little change on the side as well. Uh, shit. You know, I, I fuck with the pallets. You know, people, uh, people know anything about pallets, comment below. You know, I'll be able to shit for sale. But yeah, that's uh that's basically uh what we doing right now in the morning. Cause it's about 1051. So yeah, that's the uh that, that's what we're doing right now in the morning. Really should have been up at this hoe. The motherfucker who's uh who got the box truck been at the location for about an hour. Yeah, but shit, I had to I had to get up, get myself together, you feel me? Shit, this is Friday. I low key was uh planning to sleep in because I've been getting up right here 4 30, 5 o'clock every day. I don't know why. I said I'm not on that schedule anymore, so I don't know why my body just got up like that. But uh, I've been getting up like that this whole uh, week and a half. Some way. Oh uh, shit. Let me see. Let me set this down right quick. Let's see if we can get in that motherfucker. Okay. Hello. Hey, uh, I'm at the gate. I bet. So yeah, we uh waiting on bro, so we can uh get this shit going. Yeah, gotta drive to uh fucking Dallas, which ain't really far. Shit, that's where nigga from, but from here type shit. It's a nigga like me, I don't be wanting to, 
I don't be wanting to move around during the day because it be too hot. Fucking gas be burning, oil burning. Shit. I need to go fill my shit up. Even though I've been doing good, I filled my shit up. Uh, I filled my shit up probably. Hmm. Probably last month I filled my shit up. And I'm still, uh, you know, I got like a quarter left. I don't know if y'all seen that shit or not. I got like a quarter left on my shit. But yeah, I'm finna uh, wait on bro. Hey, this nigga go right here. Hey, extra crip I had nigga, boy. Big crip, goddamn. I do not condone game bang, but you know, this is Texas. We do got a melting point. We do, ah, uh, see the gate don't even open. Nigga say for my to hit that bitch. <laughs> Ah, oh, I ain't even realized that shit. Yeah, the goddamn gate look like nigga teeth. Them hoes going hey, like this. Whole crib. Like, goddamn, bro. Man, niggas over here been, uh, been hitting legs like a witch. Nah, they really have. That's why I, that's why I hit you up that one damn time. I been waiting on the nigga to try. <laughs> he gonna go through that door and get shot. Nigga, you tripping. They was all on that backside the other day, nigga. Oh, that's man. why I was like, nigga, how this nigga not seen? Did somebody over here cut the chain over here? Somebody hit a lick over here. They cut the chain and went out this back gate. Man, I just I just told y'all it's hot in Texas. It it ain't a, it ain't a thing to see out here, bro. Cause you come out here, but you shit, you gonna get burnt both ways. Like dead ass, like shit. Nigga might pop your ass, and then it's a hundred degree plus out there, bitch. Like for sure, for sure. But yeah, guys, we finna uh, we finna head out to Dallas, finally picked up my boy. Yeah, goddamn. Yeah, man. Finna head to Dallas, man. Uh, go uh, get this box truck. Get this box truck, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Okay, say it again. My bad, I apologize. Nah, see, we, okay, well, first we was on the way out here. We got, I, I, I don't know if I got lost or not, but we had to stop and get some oil first. But shit, I'm still on the way. And then we know we were dealing with Trevor. We had came from Fort Worth. Twelve minutes exactly. Okay, uh, take a picture of it. No, no, no. You talking about the Enterprise? Is right? It's like literally right? Like it's right off the exit. Boy, I gotta go get some money. Goddamn stimulus ain't uh stimulus ain't hitting no more. You feel me? Goddamn shit. Y'all, Joe Biden and put the goddamn task force on all the scammers and shit. That shit, that shit coming to the end. Goddamn, goddamn. I hate to say this, but motherfucker YSL that got hit. Shit, all that game bag and shit. Hey man, shit. Like the boy Booster say, they trying to take the take the game bang it out the rap. Nah, like I'm shit. The world. And, and to be honest, shit, ain't nothing wrong with it if you gonna be a game bang, big game bang, you're gonna be a rapper and be a rapper. But shit, at some point in time, you know, you gotta separate the two, cause shit. Nigga, they made the damn this nigga tripping. This nigga shit open like a bit. They made the Rico case for a reason. They made the Rico case for a fucking white man. What you think they're gonna do to y'all black folks? Like, let's be real. They made the Rico case for John Gotti. They made it for him, specifically for him and his people. What you think they're gonna do to you niggas? Like, they're gonna lock y'all ass up. Yeah, you niggas ain't from New York. What, 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 what y'all thought y'all was Supreme Team, nigga? Like, stop playing, bro. Like, y'all niggas really be out here playing with y'all life. Y'all be rapping, y'all get all these millions of dollars, and then y'all still won't be hood niggas. But they won't make it worse. It be one of your partners. They tell everybody. Man. He be just one nigga. Man. Cause he wanted to go out there and hit a lick and show out for a bitch. Like, stop it, bro. Like, niggas, niggas getting money, it's okay to calm down. You you ain't gotta show everybody that you about that shit every fucking day. So well, the biggest thing when you get money, your circle supposed to get smaller as your money increases. Niggas don't understand that. Niggas don't understand. Niggas be have whole entourages. 
nigga be millionaires or entourage. But let's be real, bro. Like, shit, I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck. Joe Bezos ain't got no entourage. It's him and his wife. And his fucking kid or dog or whatever the fuck he got going on. Jay Z ain't got no entourage. Nigga, Amazon ain't got no entourage. Like, come on, bro. Solo everywhere. Mark Zuckerberg ain't got no entourage. Like y'all, y'all niggas, y'all niggas really be up there making M's with these niggas, and y'all blowing it on cases. Y'all blowing this shit on cases, cause y'all want act hard. You get money, and want act hard. Like that shit don't make no sense. Like I know this shit. I ain't never been a gangster. I've always been the one outside looking in. I know, like, hey, these niggas ain't about it. I know the niggas that'll pop your head. Nigga ain't gonna say shit to you. Like, stop playing. Like, a lot of y'all niggas be getting money, then you won't be get like, shit, I get a million dollars, boy, I'm gonna be looking like the Carlton. Nigga boy, say, I, man, you better not show me shit. Like, man, say, I, I don't know you niggas. I'm telling you, I'm gonna take me and my partners, we gonna get, we gonna get up. And that's it. It ain't gonna be no guns. No, like, nigga, like, y'all niggas stupid for showing y'all guns anyway. Like, come on now. If you ain't registered with your shit, why you showing your gun? That's, that's dumb, man. That's dumb. And then, then you wanna wonder why you got a fucking case. <laughs> nigga snitched on me. Nigga, ain't nobody snitch on you. Snitched on yourself, dumbass nigga. Y'all nigga, y'all, bro, this shit here, bro. I ain't even mean to make this vlog about this shit, but let it be real, bro. And it be a lot of you young niggas. Y'all, y'all niggas want rob, steal, kill, and I did kill. Goddamn! Then you want to put it on fucking Instagram, Snapchat, Clubhouse, like, bitch, bro. Informants wear gold chains and and, and gold teeth too, my nigga. Damn. Like, stop playing. Like, stop playing. That Just like that new nigga in your squad. That that's a scammer. Nah, he ain't informant. He ain't informing. Let's be real. That new nigga in your squad, that's the shooter. He's an informant. He just all of a sudden gonna start hanging around y'all, gonna start shooting for you. You a peon for even thinking about that shit. Let's be real, bro. Y'all nigga be on some dumb ass shit, bro. And like I said, ain't no gangster, no type of way. You can search my shit, ain't no, ain't nothing found. Dead ass, ain't nothing found. Cause that ain't me. But I'm telling you right now, the shit y'all doing is stupid. It's stupid. That that shit dumb. Like some some shit you just you just gotta have common sense about. Nah, well I got fucked up on some real shit. We sitting at a table. We gotta look to the camera, boy. Sitting at a table down the hall, my niggas, you hear me? Niggas chopping it up. All I heard was, hey, this nigga validated. I was like, damn, out of all the shit a nigga said I did, that's all I got. Was my nigga told me I'm validated. <laughs> I start realizing, like, damn, nigga, all that shit was for what? Nothing. At the end of the day, nigga, can my kids look up to me for that shit? No. You gotta break it down, bro. Then at the end of the day, nigga, if you hitting leaks, nigga, and you up, you out of there, nigga. You doing this shit for clout. I ain't never robbed nobody. I ain't never took from nobody, and I was up and doing good. If I was down bad, I took from you. Right. I ain't never hit nobody's house. I ain't never burglarized nobody's house. But if you had drugs, I took from you. And I ain't never stole from no nigga that wasn't there. I took from you. That's the difference. But I never said I was a gangster. I always said I was a real nigga and I stand on 10 toes. I stand on principle. But that's what niggas got to separate being a gangster and being a, 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 a just a 10 toed man. It's a difference. And I ain't going to act like I wasn't chasing trying to be a gangster. I was, nigga. I threw, I'm talking about I threw a, a football career. I threw it away. That's what niggas got to understand, bro. It's cool to be a regular nigga, bro. If I can go back, I'll be a regular nigga. I promise you I would have. I would have been a regular ass nigga. A lot of niggas gotta understand that, bro. You can have a nine to five nigga and make more money selling than you did, ever did selling drugs, I promise you. Right. They can go to work six days a week and make ten, make a thousand dollars a week. Niggas ain't even doing that selling drugs. Facts. Hey, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I threw away my 20s, nigga. Nigga, them blue money, all that shit for what? That nigga could have worked through his whole 20s, made a thousand a week. Niggas don't understand that shit. They going into his thirties, finally realizing that shit. Saying I won't, I won't go. I'm 29. I'm, I'm telling myself I won't be 30, but I have only my own box truck. I only need this like, 
nigga, even if you sell it, nigga, if you ain't if you ain't selling to to find you something to cover up your money and get out, you in it for the wrong reason. You in it for clout. And I promise you, nigga, you gonna get a better bitch than you did when you was selling. I promise you, you did. When they find out you got a job, nigga, a bitch. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you three things a bitch love: a nigga in control of his environment, a nigga that can show a bitch reinsurance and protection. You can do them three things, I promise you don't have any bitch in the world you want, I promise you. It don't matter what the fuck you look like. I guarantee that. Show a bitch stability. Show that bitch that you can do your own, even if you ain't got no own. Play your role, nigga. Stun on that man. You niggas don't understand. When I didn't have it, a bitch thought I had it all. When I'm standing in this nigga house, a bitch thought it was my house. Because in any environment I went in, I controlled that bitch. As soon as y'all realize that working for yourself and not working for another person should be the overall goal, until then you lost in life. Man. Until then you lost in life. Like, I ain't even saying like get the job. That nigga that's front you, you working for him. He getting that over 800 fronted to you for 14. <laughs> he made more profit out fronted to you than he would've did selling it. You don't even know that. You slaving for him. And you swear to God, he giving you the best prices in the city. Nah, he doing the same thing that nigga at that nine to five doing. He got you running in that wheel. Then he gonna drop the price a little more so you can make a little bit more money so you can feel better about yourself. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I'm doing it right now. Ah. <laughs> hey, y'all boy better listen up. <laughs> Shit. Free game, nigga. Hey. I ain't like the rest yeah. of the niggas. I'm gonna give you free game. Hey. Niggas ain't doing nothing. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm looking for niggas that, I'm looking for little niggas that got jobs. I ain't gonna lie, when I go to some of these apartments at my job, I'm talking to these niggas. Ba 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 ba. Oh, for real? Man, you can make this, 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 do this, stop doing this, man. And, tw and I promise you, the, it, uh, the decision don't even be 12 minutes, they'll be done quitting their job. I'm real shit. Why? I just did the same thing this nigga in here did, but I'm telling y'all, you gonna make faster money. They gonna leave and go do that shit. I just fucked you like this man fucked you. Point blank period. But once you understand that that's how the game go, until then you lost, you're in the whack wheel. So at the end of the day, nigga, I done gave you the free game. But I'm talking about, it's niggas that's working for me that, that know the game and don't give a fuck. They'll listen to a nigga tell me what I got it for. I'm like, damn, hey, you talking too much. This nigga don't care. Yeah. He happy with making what he making. Not knowing, that's where I was at until I heard like, for what? Oh, hell no, hold on, hold on. So you do this for this for this. All I gotta do is this, and I can do this. Well, fuck you. I'm finna go do this. Yeah. But some niggas won't. Scare money don't make no money. Some niggas won't take that risk and go work for themselves. You gotta work for yourself, nigga. I'm talking about my clothes, bro. Everybody, I'm talking about drugs. I'm talking about making my clothes. Thanks. That's what niggas understand, bro. Nigga, I push clothes like drugs, nigga. I promise you. That's my passion now. That's it. When I get out of work, nigga, we go back to work. Call my niggas, they pull up to the house, we making orders. One by period. I'm showing in the orders, boom, cashing out. But I do got in it. niggas in the same little circle. It's like them nine to five niggas got you in the circle. That's how you supposed to be and it's fucked up. But at the end of the day, it's life, it's business. And until you grow your mind and until you get out that little ass bubble, you gonna be that rat in that wheel. I'm not the rat in the wheel no more. I'm Geppetto. I pull the streets. Oh, I didn't say it's Geppetto. These niggas better change our tax bracket for shit show. That should be your goal every year. Changing my tax bracket. Increasing my wealth. Increasing my faith. You can believe in whatever the fuck you believe in. I don't care. Some people don't believe in God. Some people don't believe in. You can believe in whatever you believe in, nigga. Increase your faith. Increase your wealth, nigga. Man. That should be your goal every motherfucking year. And nigga, every day you wake up and you're not and you're not benefiting in life and you're not doing something that's productive in life, you dying, nigga. And niggas be like, I'm living to die. That's not what you want to do. No, nigga, you supposed to be dying to live, nigga. So every day you wake up and you're not doing shit, bro, you living to die. You dying. You living on dead man's time. You might as well infect yourself with AIDS, nigga. You living on dead man's time at that point. Nah, nigga, every day I'm trying to find me something different to produce. To be productive. If you got kids in this world and you're not productive, you definitely you dead already. This is in the Bible, you don't do right by the kids, you dead already, boy. 
shit show. My goal in life is to change the tax bracket for my kids, the generation of wealth. So whenever they have kids, they kids not coming into nothing. They kids coming in snooty as fuck, having shit. I got some snooty badass little kids. They got whatever they want. Why? Because nigga, I said I was gonna change that for them. That's what I'm on. My clothing brand is my kids' name. My kids gonna have good credit. My credit, fuck. My kids' credit, not. It's not about me no more. And that's what you niggas go wrong at. Once you have kids, it's not about you no more, nigga. It's not about you. It's about making sure your kids' future is set, nigga. Shit show. So right now, what do I do, nigga? I grind, nigga. I work 14 days in a row. For real, yes. nigga. And I'ma change my tax bracket. I said it by the time I turn 30. <laughs> nigga enjoy his 30s. Real talk. <laughs> Nigga gonna okay. enjoy his 30s. I'm talking about a Cabo two bitches. Nigga finna enjoy his 30s. Yeah. Make sure y'all keep y'all record clean, nigga. Get them passports. Go see the world, nigga. Facts. I only see in the US. I'm trying to go see the world. I know I'm an exotic nigga. I know I go out there what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm trying to go see the world, man. The one thing you niggas need to understand, nigga, us is black, we are kings. Let her understand that. Why are we more athletic? Why we more we we're physically we're physically better than everybody. We're mentally better than everybody. We can handle ourselves in any situation. Why is that? Because we're kings, nigga. Why can we why can we adapt and evolve in any we got niggas living out in Alaska, niggas. We can live anywhere. White people can't live anywhere. They getting skin cancer, all this other shit. Man. We're not. Why? Because we are the superior race. Until y'all understand that shit, bro, living in dead man's time. So understand, bro, you a king. Don't let nobody knock y'all down, bro. Don't let nobody knock you down. You Mexicans, y'all are kings. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all are kings and queens. Y'all don't understand that. Anything that is a minority, Asians, y'all are kings and queens. Anything that is a minority, we're kings and queens. I'm not racist versus white people. I'm not. But they just got to understand where they at in the total pole. They're at the very bottom. You have to understand that. And until every minority understand that and stop fighting with each other, we all living in dead man's time. <laughs> Niggas gotta understand that. White people been the only people going to war with everybody. <laughs> look at that. Damn. You can look it up. The Germans and these niggas been the only people trying to conquer everything and go to war with everybody. Niggas ain't trying to go to war with shit. Mexicans ain't been trying to go to war with shit. Indians ain't been trying to go to war with shit. Asians. Until y'all come what? Until the white people come bother y'all. Then what? Y'all wanna go to war with everybody right around. Cool. Until everybody realize that, bro, we living in this in the dead man's time, and the white man's time is dead. They can't just keep fucking their own race and their race keep being superior, it never has been. That's why it never took off, that's why they're trying to kill us. Once we mix that DNA and we switch, that's why we coming out with these athletic ass babies, these death carriers that can shoot from miraculously. Yeah, nigga. Bro, wow. shoot from half court. Niggas not understanding that shit, nigga. The black DNA is the strongest DNA out here, nigga. The minority DNAs. And I'm not just gonna say black, nigga. Mexicans too. Why are these Mexicans so amazing at soccer? Look at this shit. If you look, you break it down. Everything. Who's the best at? Look at who's the best at that. Everything. It's gonna be a minority. Facts. I think white folks got cycling because when anybody else trying that shit. Facts. Let somebody else get into that. Instantly, a record's gonna be broken. Everybody understand that, like, that we, uh, my bad, we two minutes away. I apologize. We, we in here blogging. But once everybody understand that we, that Caucasians, I don't want to say white people, Caucasians, Caucasians have been the one going to war with different races, bothering different races, stealing from different races, killing different races. Once everybody understand that, and we all do come together and stop that pointless ass fighting, I promise you, we'll all stop living in dead man's time. But until then, bro, I promise you we're gonna keep doing it. And they whole goal and they whole agenda is what? To keep us separated. They don't want us all to come together. Well, we 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 literally two wins away. We uh we coming down West Merlin. 
West Westmoreland. We 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 didn't take the highway. We took the back streets. We coming down Westmoreland. Yeah, facts. It's 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 a street connected to it, literally. Uh huh. No, no, no. Trust me, we've been we've been on the way the whole time. Like we were trying to avoid the toes and shit. We don't do toes. Uh huh. And uh, back road shawty. Oh, I ain't gonna leave you hanging, mama. We down there. But then we we we, we start we start talking to the world about about yeah, these man. folks trying to mess us up. You gotta understand, man. We woke. Yes, well. Uh, that's the lady with the last truck. <laughs> Hey, bro, I, please don't take them shots, though, man. Don't let these people put that shit in y'all. Nah, fam. I read up, man. I don't even like reading, but nigga, I had to start reading off this shit. I read up, and one of the one of the one of the doctors, she's no longer alive today. Please read your books, though, which is fucked up. She's no longer alive today, but I was reading that she was okay after after it came out, and then she and she found out. She said once you get injected with the booster shots and all that. You no longer are human no more. You're called transhuman because the shot now it has altered your DNA. I said, huh? Right. Then she said, the biggest fact that everybody don't understand what becoming transhuman is, say if you're Indian and you had Indian beliefs, all your religious beliefs are taken away from you now. All because you got that bitch ass shit. People don't even know this. Like, you don't think I'm lying, bitch, go look it up yourself. I promise you. It's, it's publicly documented. After you get that shot, your DNA is altered. You are now not a human no more. You are called a transhuman. Now, as a transhuman, your governmental rights and your religion rights are stripped from you. Because you're not a human. Because you're not a human. Then they signed the martial law. Ooh, they don't even know about that. That's too much. I don't want to die, so I'm, I ain't going to go too much into it. But hey, do, do your research, man. And that was some real shit. You start watching CNN like at 3 and 4 in the morning, they're telling you the truth. They ain't doing none of that side. Like they'll tell you, okay, but I'll tell you for instance, one year I'm watching, and this is this is six years ago. I'm watching. We at work. I'm working overnight. I'm watching. They say Bill Gates is putting 2.4 billion dollars into a nuclear warhead, but it's not a bomb. It's going to be a disease. Six years later, coronavirus dropped. <laughs> Bill Gates come out doing. He had a conversation. Bill Gates and uh, the niggas that created. Uh, damn, what was it? It was one of them down, one this one of the niggas with the shots, Pfizer. Pfizer came out. Pfizer and Bill Gates, they both came out, had a little press conference. Pfizer said when we first started, it was like in the 70s. Like when we first started in like 1870s, so my whole goal was to get rid of 50% of the population. He said right now we're at 17%. Mm. And this is the medical company that's supposed to be healing us. God damn. Man, it's population control. Hey, bro, Bill Gates been said it. You she, uh, tell, uh, hey, we too busy fighting each other and killing each other. So we ain't even looking at that. We don't even know that. See, I'm not, nigga. I ain't beefing with that nigga. I ain't, I ain't looking for that nigga. I ain't into it with that nigga. So I'm so in tune with the world. I'm tapping in. I'm looking. One day y'all wake up, man. And stop beefing with these folks. Got a white man call me a nigga right now, and I laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't even get mad. Especially if I be up calling today, nigga, nigga, nigga. I laugh so hard. I'm like, bro, I really bothered you. Shit. <laughs> Cause you're not superior, nigga. Nah, what be tripping me out when they be calling us niggas, they they really be thinking they be hurting people. Like, Boy, shit. what? Like that shit don't hurt. You understand? I got myself a nigga probably a hundred times today. Yeah, like dead ass. Like a nigga did this, a nigga did like. What? I don't, I don't give a fuck about that shit. What? I wake up, man, nigga, man, the bitch. Like a motherfucker. I'd have called myself a nigga before I even brush my teeth. Shut up. Man, you wanna get mad because we walked in before you, fucking nigga? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's mm -hmm. cool, bro. Fuck you too, then, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't mean nothing to me. Man, what's like you come down, nigga? Uh, right. Stop trying to face this way, that way. Still go down the road. Yeah, you nigga see it. Yeah. <laughs> I said, uh, and that nigga, that nigga ain't rich. <laughs> yeah. That nigga said, like Don said, nigga, you see it. <laughs> 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 that nigga ain't rich. Was like, like that nigga Don and say, you see it. Oh, oh yeah. My nigga, I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, my, nigga. Nigga, my nigga Rich be hitting that hoe. Oh, that shit ain't me. Damn, nigga. Uh, my nigga Rich be hitting that hoe. Oh. Fuck, 
and some goddamn wire side chains on y'all there. Nah, hey, for real. Hey, y'all niggas stay tuned, man. Hey, we, we gonna turn up on this shit. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, like, I ain't no game member shit. We gonna have some fly ass shit on y'all niggas. <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah, you got me yeah. fucked up. Like, where the fuck this shit at? Let's spin that shit right there. Right where? Right there. All right, guys, we gonna try to find this, uh, where the fuck we need to go, cause they, uh, got a nigga on some bullshit right now. Okay, okay, okay. Did did the first place bring you like to like a like by warehouses? Yeah, he down the back side. Okay, so oh, okay. Back side. Got on so, the front. So how the uh, where it says Enterprise is at is it's a it's a McLean Hill. It's, it's a building, so I think we need to come out of here. Go to the front. Of it. I'm finna go around to the front side. Finally pulled up. We here the Enterprise. Got the box truck. My boy picking that bitch up. Yes, sir. Y'all see what the fuck going on? Shout out to uh, shout out to the plug. The trucks though. Gonna go take the truck and park it at the uh, park it at the spot. I'm finna follow him over there. We gonna head back to the burns. But yeah, man, I uh like I said, I really ain't uh playing on that uh playing on this vlog being like that. But you know, sometimes you get in mode. That's how it be. Uh, you know, free game, free game. Some people charge for that shit. But yeah, man, it's a uh, it's a Friday, man. Look at my boy out here walking. Everybody got to everybody got do their own thing. You feel me? But yeah, man, we uh we out here, Dallas, Texas. Shit, like I say, it ain't too hot today. It's just ninety five. Cease. 
I don't think I ever sold y'all my car though. Nice little base model. I ain't no car dude. I don't know. Got tablet hookup type shit. Yeah, that'll do work. You feel me? It does work. Uh, yes, sir. I got some apps and shit. Like I said, I don't be doing too much to the car, you know, especially not this one. I had a, uh, I had a five series BMW, but that shit uh, went out on me. Oh, okay, very, very. Yeah, but that shit, uh, the drive train, it went out on me. So I had to, uh, I went and got my money back on that one. And this was just, uh, this is all they had at their dealership. I really, I could have went somewhere else and got something else, but it was just like, hey, I need a, uh, I need to go ahead and start whipping. So it's a nice little investment, you know. This thing is uh, finna be paid off in a couple months. I'm gonna go and uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep this bit for so sure, for so. Sure. I don't know if I wanna. Uh, Go get me something new on the credit, or uh, really just go get me a, a, a old school. Uh, Cause I love BMWs. Anybody that know me know I love BMWs. I really just want to go get me like a, a old school, maybe drop top without the drivetrain in it. And the, and the, I think I think I'm saying it right. The drivetrain, drivetrain, drivetrain. It's basically a computer hooked up to the transmission. You know, if you don't have one of those, you can you can drive them and just get the transmissions and uh, get everything fixed. But if you got that computer, you know that that computer gonna shut everything down even when the car is not even uh, about to tear up. It it'll shut it down at the beginning, like which is good, but shit that it, it sucks as well because it uh. You know, it, it's just the whole car done. And you gotta pay like fifty five hundred to get that shit uh to get it reprogrammed or whatnot. And I just wasn't uh yeah, I wasn't finna do that. Cause I ain't even pay that much for the car, to be honest. Damn. I was just straight up uh, uh swung in front of the bum ass car you got. Yeah, I don't know uh, why they did that. God damn, you know I gotta get in front. Come on, y'all can't even see shit. I know y'all motherfuckers with them supercars. That shit gone. That shit hitting. That shit hitting. Cause y'all putting what the, the premium in that junk. Like hell no, nah, man. Fuck no. 
But yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just having broke out of shit. You know, nigga fit to turn up. It's a nice side by the truck. You know? Nice, nice size. Nice little length to it. Gonna start getting that money. For sure, for sure. But yeah, man, we gonna, uh, I'm gonna finish, uh, I'm gonna finish following him to the spot, and I'm gonna check back in with y'all, show y'all the process, because, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to listen to some music while I ride because it's, it's going to be a long ass drive and I know y'all don't want to listen to me for all this time. So yeah, man, I'm going to tune back in with y'all when we get to the spot. Y'all already know what it is. Take your time without wasting time. You see it, bitch. All right, guys, we finally made it. We out here at the little spot. That's where bro store the truck set and shit. Yeah, nigga, this is where we'll meet at in the mornings and shit. So yeah, like I said, he done put me on this little jump. You go to what's like, uh, it's, it's a gas station across the street. Man, this is a lot, man. Damn, this is these, man. Nice little box trucks, man. Y'all, shit, that's, that's the wave of the future. Box trucks. Get you a box truck, come up here to one of these, like go to Home Depot, Lowe's, some shit like that. Get you a contract with them, bro. I'm talking about per, per load, they'll pay you damn near 40, like I'm talking about 4K, 35 at the minimum. Man. That's just like, that's, all right, so basically a load is, they give you 12 stops. With your 12 stops, yeah, go to the left. You have 12 stops. First stop would be a refrigerator and shit. If you're dropping out that refrigerator, you know what I'm saying? That's just one of them. But like sometimes you only got like eight stops, you're still getting like $1,400. I mean like you can still get like 4K for that, just for that load. Man, box show where that money at, bro. Cause that's what they tell me. They say, bro, on an average week, on a regular average week, my nigga say his payouts to his employees is 8K. So imagine what he making if he paying out 8K every week. Paying out 8K. Every week. Every motherfucking week. Three weeks in a month. Three or four weeks in a month. That shit crazy. He paying out. That's what he told me. Folks. Like that's what he told me. The nigga told me y'all top. Right. He said, I'll pay, I'll pay y'all. He said, look, I'll show you. 8500 bye bye bye. He said, that's literally every week. He said, imagine how much I'm making off these loads. I said, God damn, I don't even want to. If you okay and you and you and then I'm talking about, say we'll be out driving. Like this is my last contract to heal. Like he'll literally, hey y'all, y'all niggas hungry, bro. So he that comfortable, he sending us money to eat and shit. Like, yeah, they, they making some money out this shit. But like the woman contract me and you on, we go, we go run it up off her. Cause then she just told me up there at the warehouse when we was up there. Go straight through like up to the other, the other gas. I don't like this. So she tell she told me I talked, she was like, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start them off at 150. She said, I would do the 170 with you, and then give y'all both the increase. But she said, this is what we'll do. He give me 30 good days. So after the 30, I'll give you the pay crease. I said, damn, I like you already. That's like a regular job. Good. I hit up with I like you already. Yeah, I mean, true. Shit. Cause he told me I thought she was like, she was like, I can't give him the same thing I'm giving you right now. When he said he give me 30 good days, I promise you he get 170. Alright. Yeah. 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 I was like, all right. See, that's what I was at with. That's why I said I ain't been doing shit with like, what? I ain't been doing shit. Bitch. Right. <laughs> shit. All right. <laughs> I ain't been doing shit. I just needed something to add on. Then you go back to a thousand a week. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> made a nigga neck turn. Dude, yeah, Cause that was what she was like, I understand that you've been enjoying your kids. I was like, I have. Yeah, yeah. I have. She was like, I just wanted to give you a break. I understood all the stuff you was going through. I was like, yes, well. Yeah. She said, but uh, you, you ready to make these thousands a week? Yeah, let me get that shit. I said, like, shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yes, man. Yeah. I said, I've been enjoying my little break, but yeah. I literally just told myself, damn, I miss, I miss two chicks. I'll take that shit. Or that cash out. Yeah, all right, shit. Sell that shit to me. All right, man. We back on our side of town. I just dropped bro off. It's 104 right now. Sheesh. It's 104. So, uh, shit panned out. 
Bro got one box truck and then uh, put it up. The lady that uh, that got him the first one called and was like, hey, I got another one. Uh, if y'all wanna uh, just drive that one as well. So we were like, hey, yeah. So she uh, basically looking for another drive and another helper for that, uh, for that truck. Until I get my little dot, my little dot certification, a license, whatever you need to do uh, to do that type of uh, do that sort of thing. So if you're watching this, you know, need a driver and a helper, box truck, and it is uh, it is furniture, you know, uh, whatever people might order, really. To be honest, I can't just say it's front of some shit. But it is things you would have to put together. But yeah, it's uh it's traffic out here, man. As you can see, it's taking me forever. Just to get on service road type shit. So it's, it's taking forever because it is uh, it's packed up right now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, like I say, it's 204 right now. I don't know if uh, I'm going to get back out anytime soon. I know I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to chill. You know, uh, got to go feed my dog. You know, she probably thinking like, what the fuck? But uh, but yeah, that's what uh, that's what I'm about to go do. It's, it's Friday, people can't drive type shit. I gotta go to my boy's funeral tomorrow, so I need to go get an edge up. That's what I really need to go do. I need to go get a uh, the fade, get my shit edged up. They talking about we can't wear hats on the job, so you gotta go uh. I, I know that's crazy, but hey, I'm gonna follow the rule just just off the muscle, you know. So I gotta go get my shit twisted up. But yeah, I'm uh finna head back to the house, man, cause I, I'm hungry in the hole, to be honest. Whew, nigga, nigga over here floating around the city, really. Shit. But uh. But yeah, guys, we just, uh, shit. I'm finna go to the crib. <laughs> My bad. Cars I had just drive slow the bitch. Why? Y'all a little later on. So, uh, damn. It's 
place and just traffic everywhere. They got tractors and shit on the road. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna check back here with y'all later on, man. Uh, take your time without wasting time. You see, girl, me too. Yeah, said, I'm posted, loaded, floating, don't know where I'm going. Uh -huh. Caught a weed man up, don't know how much, but I'm scoring. Right and if it ain't gas, bitch, you know I ain't copping. Yeah. Nigga, know how I'm rocking, bitch, I keep cushion my pocket.